All right, so uh, just one, one second. All right, great. So today we are glad to have uh, Dr. Kuji Sumitu from uh, uh, Berkeley. So the title is Towards Roberta Value of the Cohomology. Please. Okay, so thank you so much for the introduction and invitation. Uh, so it's my pleasure to speak here, although I, I do want to visit Purdue personally. Yeah. But so let me just uh, talk about the goal of this talk or this project. So I think the topic itself is about arithmetic geometry, but the motivation comes from automorphic formats and representation theory. And so our main goal is to develop a periodic cohomology theory. Uh, for a periodic manifold, or more precisely, uh, regionalite varieties. over uh, local function fields, uh, namely starting with a uh, finite field FP and I wanna put a uh, low long uh, variable. And then uh, plus uh, the long-term goal is to seek applications toward a uh, local long lens program. And then maybe first, let me just write a caveat. So as I said, uh, so this is still like an early stage of the uh, uh, work in progress. And then moreover, I check the calendar. And then, so today is April Fool. So I, I'm not going to write anything incorrect but the maybe final formulation may be changed. So that's the caveat. And having said that, so I think it's better to just start with motivation toward local long lens program. And after explaining motivation, uh, I will just talk about uh, something I'm trying to develop that's creating robot volume cohomology theory. So first of all, uh, when I write capital F, uh, that's a non arcadian local field of residue characteristic key. So IE, so this is either finite extension of QP, PI numbers, or this uh, local function field, okay? And then if I write down, WF uh, that denotes the Bayer group. So remember, uh, so in the local field, uh, we have a short exact sequence of the Galois group of F. So uh, you just consider a map to the residue field, uh, which is a finite field. So uh, this is identified with uh, Z hat. And then the kernel is called inertia. And then, so inside you have a uh, Z here. So you, you just consider all the elements uh, which are mapped to Z by this reduction. So that's called Bay group. So uh, we will make this a topological group making uh, IF, inertia group, uh, open subgroup. So this is a locally compact uh, group. And then, uh, so, so the element uh, mapping to something like x raised to uh, x raised to some q for the cardinality of the residue field raised to some valuation. Okay. And then, so when I when we talk about our representation, uh, typically we, we don't uh, mention much about the coefficient. But maybe uh, for, to clarify my motivation, so let me just introduce the character zero field for coefficient. And then maybe uh, for simplicity, let's assume it's algebraically closed. So uh, typically it's either like a, a complex numbers or a QL bar for some elodic field. And then, so uh, let's uh, recall uh, one key concept called Vey drain representation. So a uh, Vey drain representation of F and let's say uh, defined over E is a pair 
uh, R and N, uh, where R uh, is a group homomorphism from my V group to a general linear group of V, uh, where V is some kind of finite dimensional effect, uh, E vector space. And then uh, I wanna just uh, put a discrete topology for the latter. In other words, uh, uh, this means uh, the image uh, of the inner subgroup is finite. And then actually, I mean, this is very uh, algebraic uh, representation. So we don't need to care about the topology of E because we are putting discrete topology. And then N is called a modern operator. Uh, so I'm not taking twist. So let's just say this is endomorphism. Even endomorphism of V, uh, which satisfies some uh, condition. And then, so if you start with uh, a logic R representation, you can naturally associate uh, to such a uh, representation, veil drawing representations. So in some sense, this is avatar of the R representations, which you want to work on. And then once we introduce uh, this notion, uh, we can just quickly just mention local Langlands correspondence uh, for GLN. And then since uh, this talk, it's not about uh, local Langland, so let me just write a very rough statement. So uh, essentially, uh, one easy way to say is, so there is a bijection between uh, smooth irreducible representations of uh, GLNF, uh, which is a PID group uh, defined over the description E, and then uh, so-called n-dimensional, meaning uh, V is n-dimensional uh, for being semi-simple, uh, they are representations of F uh, defined over E. And they are satisfying uh, some compatibility, which uniquely char characterize this correspondence. And then uh, I don't want to write it down, but for example, uh, when n equals one, this should be compatible with uh, local class field theory. And then there should be compatibility with respect to uh, epsilon factor and L factor for pairs and so on. And then of course, I mean, this is now a theorem. Uh, namely, uh, first uh, it was proved uh, in the local function field case uh, by Lomo Rapport Studer. And then uh, when uh, F is a final extension of QP, uh, this is uh, done by Harrison Taylor and NER. And then uh, I, I don't wanna just mention about the proof, but one thing I wanna emphasize is uh, in order to just construct correspondence, uh, Lomo reports to uh, and Harris Taylor uh, uh, construct some kind of global geometric object and then taking a logic at all so uh, one key point here is uh, uses uh, elodic et cohomology. Namely, we need to use arithmetic geometry to construct this kind of correspondence. So uh, from arithmetic geometric point of view, uh, sometimes these kind of cohomology theory uh, uh, give lots of applications to representation theory. And uh, my talk uh, uh, is in this direction. And then actually, uh, uh, there are more like uh, relevant works uh, in this direction, uh, which is often called uh, dolin carroll conjecture uh, and its rigid version. So now let me just uh, move on uh, toward a direction of my goal. So strictly speaking, uh, there are two types of conjecture. One is risk analytic, uh, the other is vanishing cycle. So 
So I would say this is rigid version. Uh, the slogan I is simple. Uh, some part, or I should say, a uh, hospital part of local language correspondence and a local jacket language, jacket language correspondence. Sorry, uh, no. Jacket language are uh, encoded uh, in uh, LID cohomology of some uh, geometric objects called Greenfield power. And then let me just explain uh, what this uh, power is. And then this is the place where you see the digital analytic geometry. And then maybe uh, before explaining this, uh, uh, it's good to just start with knowledge. So when we talk about modular forms, uh, those are particular functions on upper half plane uh, in C. And then similarly, uh, you can just consider uh, upper and lower half plane. So let's consider all the complex numbers, uh, which is not real, namely imaginary part is not zero. Okay. So this is a complex manifold. And then I can just define this in a slightly different way. Namely, you just consider uh, compactification of complex numbers adding infinity and then uh, removing all the real numbers and then uh, infinity. So this is one way to define uh, upper and lower half length in C. And then the key point here is uh, GL to R uh, acts on this space. So if you have this kind of action, then you can just consider homology which also admits action GL to R. Of course, I mean, in this case, it's not interesting at all because upper half plane and lower half plane is contracted. So cohomology, uh, uh, that, that doesn't give you anything interesting. But actually this idea also works uh, uh, when we're working on non Kenyan local field. So uh, let me just define N minus first dimensional uh, during field half plane. So half space uh, is defined by the essentially the same recipe. So I want to consider n minus first projective space, and then I want to remove some uh, some parts. Uh, here I want to remove all the hyperplanes, uh, which is defined over f. So I want to say f rational. Hyperplanes. And if we do this, uh, projective space itself is kind of algebraic variety. But if I just remove those like a fractional space, it's no longer algebraic. You need lots of kind of inequalities intuitively. But still, I mean, this kind of object exists as a periodic manifold theory, or more precisely, so called regionality varieties. So if you have never heard of the variety, uh, you may simply think this as kind of like a periodic manifold theory, uh, which, which uh, does not, um, which captured the ones which are not necessarily algebraic. And then moreover, uh, projective space admits a natural action of GL and F, and if rational hyperplanes are preserved uh, by this action. So this is a reasonable variety together with GL and F action. And then, so let me just quickly say, uh, if you just take n equals two, so h1 is nothing but uh, removing all the f rational hyperplane of p1, namely removing all the points or f rational points. So this is exactly analog of the upper and lower half space. And the key point here is if you're working on rich setting, then this admits a lot of non-trivial covering. So it's kind of, in some sense, far from being uh, simply connected, or sorry, contractible. And then, uh, so let me just uh, write down the results. 
So using some kind of modular uh, interpretation of PZ group, uh, Dreamfeld constructs tall finite color covers. Uh, over uh, M0, uh, which I mean uh, just disjoint uh, Z copies of this upper half plane. And over there, uh, you have like a power M1, M2, and so on. And strictly speaking, uh, this is defined for uh, maximal, a uh, completed maximal unified extension of F. And the key point here, uh, I don't explain what this tower is. But the key point here is, first of all, uh, the base admits action G on F. And then this uh, extends to the, uh, each of the layer. Moreover, uh, this power admits uh, another action, uh, namely action by D star, where uh, this is central division algebra over F uh, with invariant one over there. So in this way, uh, starting with a periodic analog of upper half plane, uh, you can naturally create the object uh, which admits a uh, non-trivial cover and admits interesting actions of G of N and D, or D star. So first of all, are there any questions so far? So by the way, is the N fixed here for the uni? Uh, N? Yeah, I I'm fixing N for now. I see, just the Z copies. There's many copies of uh, H N minus one. Uh, are you talking about this one? Yes. OK. Uh, so this corresponds to uh, uh, Z coming here. So yeah, okay. so let me just explain uh, what's happening. So I think that's a good question. And then so. What we want to do is if you have an interesting geometry space, then just take a tall community of it. Then this admits uh, lots of like a group actions. So in this particular case, uh, let's consider, uh, let me just uh, write in this way, uh, which is defined to be a uh, direct limit uh, with respect to the layer N of uh, N minus first uh, degree et al. homology with compact support uh, of this uh, uh, layer base change to uh, F4 uh, with LRD coefficient. So et al. homology has functionality. So once your geometric object has group actions, then uh, this admits uh, action of those groups. But moreover, uh, this tower is uh, defined on maximal unrefined extension. So after the base change to F bar, uh, it admits uh, inertia action. Moreover, since we are considering kind of Z copy of the three half half space, uh, you can actually define the action of V group as well. So V group is an extension of Z uh, by inertia group. <coughs> and that's uh, the reason why I put Z here. And then uh, the point here is this is an interesting representation of these three groups. And then that's called a uh, regional version of the trial conjecture. And then uh, this is a theorem by Harris and Hausberger. Uh, Harris uh, worked on a uh, periodic case and Hausberg will work on local function groups. Uh, the statement is uh, roughly as follows. So if you start with a super cusp or cuspidal representation, of G L and F, uh, then uh, you can just consider isotope, high isotopic component. Then the conjecture roughly states, or the theorem states, a pi isotopic component of this uh, gigantic space, uh, C uh, local Langland, as well as uh, local Jacky Langland. Namely, uh, as a representation, uh, this is 
uh, described in this way. Uh, here, uh, this is a, a very, very green representation of a group, of, essentially, uh, coming from, uh, I should say, modified uh, local Langlands correspondence. So it, it causes some kind of twist to make this work. And then the second one uh, is just representation P star uh, given by uh, local Jack So in other words, uh, this tower of geometric objects realized a uh, hospital part of local Jack Langlands and local Langlands correspondence uh, using LLD Getalkin. So, so in this way, uh, if you just consider uh, local geometry, uh, you can actually construct interesting color representations. So first of all, uh, are there any questions uh, I have talked about so far? So, so this conjecture also implies like for any uh, cuspidal representation, this piezotypic component is uh, non-trivial? Yeah, yeah, it also implies that. Okay. And then uh, strictly speaking, uh, this uh, space uh, has uh, more representation uh, coming from, uh, so, sorry, what I want to say. Uh, for example, this, con uh, this contains Steinberg representation and so on, but mainly, I mean, this uh, consists of uh, cusp of Okay. So having said that, uh, you can just ask a naive question. So of course, uh, we have lots of cohomology theory, so you can just change uh, taking different cohomology theory. So how about Uh, of uh, uh, this tower. So that's a natural question. And then the point here is kind of, uh, uh, if you just look at this tower, uh, this is more like a periodic nature. Somehow degree should be more like power P in some sense. So in that situation, somehow uh, the Tau cohomology is much larger than L cohomology for L is not equal to P. And in some sense, uh, this is super hard to analyze. And then still uh, recently, uh, there are several works, uh, well, at least there is one work. Uh, so let me just simply uh, mention uh, work of Komet, Nesky, and Izio. So uh, they are working on the uh, attic field and especially, actually specifically QP case and it taking N equals two. And then, so roughly speaking, uh, they just proved. So in this situation during health uh, space, it just during uh, one dimension during health space. So you consider H1 and C and this power uh, roughly speaking, uh, encodes uh, periodic langlands or local langlands. And the usual Jack langlands. Usual local Jack langlands. So, periodic langlands uh, is kind of an kind of updated version of local langlands correspondence uh, taking care of periodic topology. And then this kind of reflects the fact that a PID cohomology of the power is much bigger uh, than a lot of the power. And then in some sense, uh, in order to uh, state such a uh, result, uh, of course, they need periodic local numbers. And in some sense, that's only known for GL2QP for now in a kind of satisfying manner. But somehow, I think they are planning to use kind of reverse engineering to consider the adequate cohomology of the general tower to get some candidates for the adequate lung ones uh, for GLN. And then, uh, 
may, maybe uh, I think if we just work on a uh, local function field case, I think uh, this should be uh, completely open. And I just don't know much. It's, it's because uh, in this situation, the uh, I think uh, Komoji gets more nastier. And then we, at least I don't know how to handle it. So in some sense, that's kind of uh, what I think the current status of Kiyadi et al. Komoji story of the drink of power. So does the, their proof relate to the uh, Amerton's uh, work on the tower, what kind of tower? Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, so let's that see. Take a complete cohomology, I mean. So uh, I should be very careful. I think that, so first of all, if you just consider the rainfall tower, the natural global object which uh, corresponds to is Shimura curve, not modular curve. So of course, I mean, they need global method. Also, they need to compare uh, Greenfield power and Rubin Tate power. Mm -hmm. And then, so I think I don't have anything on the top of my head, uh, whether that's you like, maybe I think so. Yeah, thanks for the question. Now, are there any other questions? Okay. okay, so if not, so let's just move on to the main part of my talk. So as the title suggests, uh, the uh, goal is uh, I wanna just consider a uh, local function field case and then try to develop another periodic commodity field, uh, which uh, should give uh, a new geometric realizations of local Langlands and Jackie Langlands, uh, the classical version. So of course, uh, uh, right now, let me just write this as expectation uh, because uh, it's not done at all. Uh, so expectation is uh, there should be a good uh, periodic commodity theory or commodity theory. Uh, for rich plant varieties like rainfall towers. over F uh, with values in uh, so-called robbery, uh, which I see noted by curly R. Uh, and uh, sorry, I have to say uh, from now on, uh, I'm working on local function field case. And for simplicity, let me just work on FD number. So uh, I need to explain at least two things. First, uh, what this rubber ring is and why uh, I wanna just construct a uh, homology theory value in this ring. So first of all, uh, let me just define a rubber ring. So this is a, a, a important ring in periodic differential equation theory or periodic analysis. And then uh, this, uh, let me just write so it's scary way. So essentially, uh, this is a uh, correction of functions on some open annulus. More precisely, so maybe, so this is just chief of regionalic functions. And uh, so this is a uh, uh, half open annulus. Uh, that's a uh, regionalic variety over Q. Uh, more precisely, uh, uh, given by the inequality of the foreign form. So here, uh, lowercase letter t is my coordinate 
I'm working on one dimensional disk. And inside, I want to just consider the inequality where the absolute value of t is strictly less than one and bigger than this number. So intuitively, uh, what's happening here is uh, you just consider open unit disk of radius one. And then here, uh, you just consider uh, inner disk of radius uh, one over p of one over n. And you just consider the points between them. So uh, this part is the half of the annulus you're working on. And then uh, if you let m uh, bigger and bigger, then uh, this uh, annulus gets smaller and smaller uh, going toward the outer boundary. So you can just take the uh, inverse limit, uh, sorry, direct limit with respect to this restriction. And then this uh, ring admits several important structures. First of all, uh, this admits the Frobenius uh, sending this coordinate T to its p power. Moreover, you can just, uh, if you just want to take any recent function, you just want to the derivative, then that still uh, lands in this uh, ring. So you have derivative. And then these kind of structures are studied uh, in the context of uh, periodic analysis or differential equation theory. And then uh, from our perspective, uh, the uh, key uh, feature of this ring is uh, summarized in the following theorem of Malmora. So he constructs a functor uh, denoted by DPST, uh, remittance of theory, uh, starting from, if you start with uh, finite free our modules it, together with Frobenius and the uh, nabla structure. So let me just simply say P nabla modules over robbery. To such other uh, he associated uh, they drain representation of this local function field F uh, with coefficients uh, keep the around. So uh, I'm not explaining how you just construct this kind of uh, functor, but the key point here is uh, if you can uh, produce uh, phi nabla modules over robbering, then this functor automatically design, uh, gives you uh, their drain representations, uh, which should be one of the key players in local Langlands correspondence. So of course, uh, if you know this kind of functor, then what you want to do is maybe starting from uh, rich analytic variety uh, over R, and then to such object, you want to just cons construct a R module together with Rubinius and then Nabla structure. So if we have such object, and, and if you have such commodity theory satisfied uh, basic standard properties, then the composition uh, uh, gives you a real driver representation. And if your variety admits some action, for example, GL or D star, then the composite uh, should have uh, actions by the group as well as GL and D star. So that's the night hope. And if we want to have this kind of function. And then uh, let me just uh, make a quick comment. So uh, there is a preceding work, namely Lutz and Parr uh, defined. Uh, so if you are working on uh, algebraic varieties in character P, here the cohomology doesn't behave well, but we still have a good cohomology theory called this, uh, so actually, let's then Paul uh, constructed a rigid cohomology value in this robbering uh, for algebraic varieties. 
So not necessarily analytic. Oh, over there. So the naive motivation is uh, if you have such a commodity theory for algebraities, uh, whether we can extend that construction uh, to rich uh, varieties, uh, which is a wider class of geometric objects. And then unfortunately, as far as I can come up with, uh, uh, their definition uh, does not directly generalize uh, to the original uh, context. So uh, in the remaining 10 minutes or so, uh, let me just try to explain uh, another naive approach, uh, which at least works in some setting. But maybe before I'm uh, moving on, uh, are there any questions uh, about uh, so far? So the, the theorem here, is that only for the function field or just actually have something about them? Only on uh, this uh, marmoras functor. Uh huh. Now this is for function field. Okay. So uh, let me just uh, explain our naive approach. So how to define a homology theory uh, in character zero for objects defined over character P? So natural idea is you try to consider lift of your object in character zero and using some character zero theory. So that's the standard ideas uh, uh, for many like a homology theory. So uh, let's just consider the following uh, object. Uh, curly S uh, is a spa of uh, ZP double bucket T, uh, comma ZP double bucket T. Uh, here, uh, I wanna equip uh, this ring, uh, PT addict topology, and then removing uh, FP point. So uh, this is a so-called analytic addict space. Uh, in the sense of uh, Hoover's addict space theory. And then of course, uh, if you have never seen this, uh, it's hard to imagine what they look like. So let me just draw a picture, um, which I hope uh, combines some idea of what we're working on. So these days, the standard picture uh, looks like this. And then uh, this S uh, consists of uh, these parts. Namely, this kind of quarter disk, and you want to remove one point. That's the close point, spa FP. And then the key point here uh, is here. I have another point, uh, addict spectrum attached to our local function field here. And then the picture uh, tells you the form. Uh, if you look at uh, all the part above, uh, that's uh, something living over QP. Namely, uh, this part. Uh, everything except uh, this line uh, represents QP fiber. And then, so this part is just a uh, usual regional variety. And then uh, in this situation, it's easy to explain what this is. So this is open inequities. Uh, defined by the inequality of this form. And then uh, this object only has one uh, point in the FP fiber. Uh, this entire picture has two points in the FP fiber, but so, uh, the point corresponding to FP and the point corresponding to F. But since I'm removing the former, uh, what, we, uh, what remains is just a point uh, F. So once you have uh, this kind of geometric object, what we can do? Well, what we can do is just look at this point and then look at all the open neighborhood of this point, maybe which is kind of shrinking. And then let's see what they look like.
So uh, open neighborhood of uh, uh, this uh, is uh, explicitly given uh, by the following link. Uh, here, RM cert uh, is uh, this uh, formal parses ring equipped with PTR topology, and you can formally uh, 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 this kind of variable. And the RM is something you invert T. Uh, so uh, if you uh, know Arctic space, uh, this is what the definition is. And then uh, intuitively, uh, this open neighborhood has the point QP fiber and FP fiber. First of all, as I said, FP fiber only consists of single point. So this is just point corresponding to F. And then QP fiber is like a, a open subspace of this open unit disk. And actually this is uh, precisely given by the open unit uh, half annulus we just discussed before. Namely, uh, here is the option. Uh, if you are working on uh, addix, analytic addict space S and then considering a system of open neighborhood of the point F, then uh, you get the following object. Uh, the, so first of all, uh, this uh, object is a shrinking family. of open neighborhoods of this point F. In other words, uh, this is a family of deformations of uh, F to character zero. And then uh, uh, these objects are related to the robbering uh, we have talked before. Namely, if we recall the definition of robbering, uh, this is nothing but a direct limit of uh, legitimate functions on this QP fiber. So once we have this kind of picture, uh, uh, we can just uh, start naive discussion. Namely, if we start with some variety over this F, then try to uh, consider a deformation or a lift over these SM. And then just take generic fiber or QP fiber, which is a usual recent variety. So we can use some kind of homology theory over this. So that's the uh, naive idea, which I want to explain now. But first of all, maybe, are there any questions about these uh, visualizations? So Can I replace? Saying, like, oh. a, I'm sorry. So, so uh, like when you say like QP fiber, you mean the region that like this red and the blue one? I mean, uh, I'm sorry. I mean, you you mean the red and like the open disk, the intersection? Uh, so so first of all, uh, this kind of object uh, lives over so called spa ZPZP. Uh, this uh, consists of two points, uh, one corresponding to FP and one corresponding to QP. And you can just consider literally fibers over QP and FP. And then, so this uh, blue thing is exactly the uh, S. And then uh, FP fiber is just this line. And everything else uh, lives in uh, QP fiber. So for example, uh, this part, uh, is uh, this open unit disk. And if my SM uh, is this kind of visualization, then uh, everything away from spa F uh, gives rise to this open annulus. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for asking. Can you replace everything here with um, all the Ps with Qs? Uh, yes. 
And even you can just consider kind of co hammering uh, or it's unrif uh, ramified extension of this as well. So you can. So you, you can just consider co hammering of uh, FQ round bracket T or it's uh, ramified finite ramified extension also gives similar visualization. So, uh, so let me just uh, write down knife construction. So let, let's assume uh, we start with uh, smoothly type variety. Over F. And then first time uh, issue about uh, rich geometry, I, I also consider so-called Daga space, or strictly speaking, together with so-called over-convergence structure, uh, which I'm not planning to explain. And assume uh, it admits a uh, lift. Uh, to uh, this uh, space, SM. Then uh, you can just consider the point output, uh, which is, uh, let's look at uh, genetic fiber uh, of this lift and then the genetic fiber of the base. Then uh, this is a family of rich dynamic varieties over these annuals. And if you have a map between them, you can just talk about, uh, about relative drum conversion. And then in rigid geometry, uh, usual drum conversion doesn't behave very well, doesn't satisfy uh, finiteness. So what we want to do is using so-called over-convergent structure uh, and then considering a so-called over-convergent drum conversion, which is much smaller than usual drum conversion. So I should say relative uh, over conversion RAM conversion. And then if you do this kind of construction, then you get the module over SMQP with taking a limit. So in other words, uh, if you do this, then uh, you get R module. And then uh, if you have, uh, for drum cohomology, you usually have a uh, Gauss-Manning connection, so which uh, gives uh, this with uh, nabla structure. And if you just consider Fermi's lift, then it also admits a uh, Fermi's action, uh, which I don't explain right now. And in this way, anyway, if we assume those two things, uh, we can just talk about uh, some R module. And of course, the question is uh, whether this is independent of the choice of the lift. And at least uh, locally, uh, this is the case. So what I can report now is if X is affinoid, so that's the building block of uh, digital varieties. And then moreover, uh, it has a nice structure, so-called complete uh, transversal uh, intersection. Uh, by which I mean, uh, this is defined by nice equations. Uh, then uh, the above module uh, is independent of the uh, choice of lifts. So you can just uh, denote this uh, by uh, rubber value homology uh, attached to X. Uh, when X is affinoid and it's in the transverse intersection. And then uh, essentially uh, this means uh, 
you can just uh, consider some uh, n variable and then module some uh, equation uh, such that uh, and M by M minor of this Jacobian matrix uh, uh, generates unique ideal. And so that's what we mean by complete transversal intersection. The key point here is if you start with any smooth return variety, then locally it's covered by affinoid of this form. And if you have such a thing, uh, you can uh, by hand uh, lift to SN. So this result essentially shows uh, lower value cohomology should at least exist locally. Uh, in the case of rigid analytic setting. And then this type of argument uh, was already done by uh, Monsky and Washinitze when uh, they talked about uh, so-called formal cohomology theory, which is kind of a uh, cohomology theory preceding a rigid cohomology for other varieties over FT. And then if you just translate uh, their arguments uh, into this kind of Hoovering setting, uh, we can still prove similar thing. So having said that, I hope I can convey uh, there should be a good uh, local value cohomology theory uh, for regional varieties over local function field. At least locally, we can define some object. But of course, if you think of a uh, good cohomology theory, there should be lots of like nice functionalities and fun, uh, finiteness and so on and so on. So of course, the main question uh, is uh, whether we can uh, give such a definition. And of course, the easiest uh, question is uh, whether you can use some cytotheoretic approach or topos approach. In other words, uh, there exists a weather ring site, say some kind of XR and its structure sheet. Uh, for any, say, smooth X with over convergent structure, such that uh, its uh, site theoretic cohomology uh, agrees with uh, this naive definition, uh, at least when uh, X is uh, affinoid and uh, complete transversal intersection. And then, uh, this is something uh, which is most important. And I'm trying to help find some candidates, but uh, I think it's too early to report uh, uh, about this. So I'll stop here. Okay, makes sense. <clears throat> Any questions? Uh, so uh, suppose this. Uh... So, so for the local case, you can show that there's a nice cohomology, but uh, have you proved any good property of this cohomology? Like, uh, so is that possible to uh, put this in the upper half plane to, you know, like long and is that, is that any direction like that? So well, one thing I have to say is during the half space is super big in the sense that uh, this is not quasi compact. Mm -hmm. And then, so for example, uh, although I haven't write down the detail and haven't checked, what I expect is if you just start with this kind of very uh, local piece, like a complete transverse intersection, using the theorem l key, in some sense, uh, these are kind of algebraized. Then in some sense, uh, you can just compare uh, this cohomology theory uh, with uh, Latsuda and the called regionality com uh, reached cohomology theory. And then uh, I'm pretty much sure that uh, they are the same. In particular, since they proved uh, lots of nice properties of their rich cohomology theory valued in rubbering, so we can just directly transport, uh, for example, finiteness of this cohomology and so on in this uh, particular case. On the other hand, if you want to think of uh, application through the long runs, you, you need some geometric object which has a uh, group action. And in order to define group action on the cohomology, we should have a nice functionality of the definition. Yeah. And then first, I mean, we can just glue them together to give kind of like a ad hoc definition, but I think that's not good to analyze. 
So that's the reason why I'm trying to find site theoretic definition of this commodity theory, which is still a work in progress. All right, any other questions? Yes, where do you use the, um, the fact that you have this complete transversal intersection? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, so the, the point here is uh, if you have a really nice uh, ring, so let's say uh, this is like a A of F, and suppose you have like a T rift uh, over this Rm, then after increasing M, uh, they are both isomorphic. Uh, that's something we can prove uh, under this additional assumption. And exactly a similar statement uh, was proved by Monsky and Washington in their setting. And then the proof really required this kind of very nice structure and they tried to lift them up. So for this naive approach, I mean, this assumption is crucial. Thank you. But at the same time, uh, any smooth, uh, uh, Affinoid uh, uh, region and variety is covered by these ones. So still, I think that's enough to convince myself that uh, there should be a good community theory. All right, do we have more questions? Uh, so for this uh, drama called homology, is that, the, uh, is that, is that I mean, how, how to understand, uh, understand that? So like, uh, this is just uh, very similar to the Europe drama homology? Yes, so essentially the point here is that you have drum complex uh -huh. of this uh, relative drum complex, okay? Mm -hmm. And then if you just take this uh, relative uh, commodity with a relative drum complex, you get relative drum commodity. Oh. And then, but this uh, that's, is not expected to satisfy the finiteness result. And then, so if we have so-called additional overconvergent structure, you can just cook up a sub-complex called uh, overconvergent uh, oh, uh, drum complex, uh, whose uh, cohomology uh, is the, the exactly what I'm referring to. I see. So if you have heard the terminology, for example, weak formal scheme or other spaces, uh, kind of got methods to overcome uh, in finiteness of rich cohomology, as like drum cohomology of the rich varieties over TP. And then we just need such a tool to guarantee that uh, our commodity theory is reasonably reasonable. Okay, do we have more questions? All right, let's just thanks for the day. <laughs>